the Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. here with realagriculture.com. I am here today with Rachel Malenka, who is the Client Success Manager with 2020 Seed Labs. How's it going? Good. How are you doing today? Good. So we're here today to talk about, you know, it has been a dry year. Everyone's sick of hearing about it, but unfortunately we are seeing it yeah. everywhere and basically coast to coast there is drought in a lot of places and and part of this now we're looking at what are some of the drought impacts on your seed quality? Yeah, so that's definitely a question that's come up and um, I know we've heard um, about yield and other impacts of drought, but in terms of seed quality and what we can predict that we're going to see for samples off the combine and throughout the winter all the way up till spring planting. Um, in a plant, um, there's something called abscisic acid and that has an antagonistic relationship with another plant hormone called gibberellins. So gibberellins is what um, helps the plant to regulate the seed maturity, seed dormancy, um, and things like that. So when we see that gibberellins is going down, we do have a potential of increased dormancy in the seed. Um, and that's why testing this fall is gonna be more important than ever. Um, another thing is, of course, we know that with drought and in different conditions where the plant doesn't have those ideal conditions to fill the seed, we get um, smaller seed and lighter seed as well. So in terms of thinking all the way to spring for next year, um, we're thinking about our thousand kernel weights and how that's going to be affected. So when you're thinking about seed testing this fall or during um, seed cleaning or right before planting, we want to think about getting your germination testing, um, your vigor tested and your thousand kernel weight. Okay, and so you've also done some uh, comparisons looking at, at the years 2015, 2016, because July seen some of those same temperatures. Do you want to talk about some of that? Yeah, awesome. So just in terms of the drought maps that we've seen from 2015, 2016, quite similar to what we had in July of this year as well. So I took a look at sample results that we had from that year and uh, the germination, I have good news, the germination and vigors were actually quite good coming off the combine. Um, but as we saw with samples over the winter, um, they were being stored in the bin and we saw that germination and vigor actually took a little bit of a decline. So that's why it's important to think if you're getting testing off the combine and it's looking good, um, take a look at it again before spring planting or when you get your seed cleaned and you get that movement of grain out of the bin um, because you could potentially have lower values um, as, the bin, as the seed has been stored um, and that kind of issue from the drought here now can come up later in the year. Now is there any like bin temperatures obviously we're not looking at specific numbers but if it gets yeah. really cold over the winter or, or a mild temperature does that make a difference? Uh, nope. Um, it's just in terms of how the seed is going to perform in the spring and basically how that vigor is going to express itself in the spring um, after six months of the winter, right, of being um, stored and then planted. Now, we, we did talk about, of course, seed testing and the importance of it, but do you just want to reiterate if a farmer doesn't typically get their seed tested, why this year may be the year we really need to? Yeah. So definitely because it's been such an unusual year, um, we still don't really know how harvest conditions are going to play out in some parts of the province. We could be seeing some high moisture during harvest or maybe some frost, which would even give us um, more issues with seed quality. Hopefully we don't see that. Um, if everything goes well and we have a nice dry and um, safe harvest, uh, we still want to get those seed, that seed tested just because um, the seed fill process and our plant hormones have been disturbed by the drought. Um, so it's just kind of gathering the most information you can so that when you go and you plant it in spring or you're storing it over the winter and you're making those planting decisions in the winter time that you have all information on the table and then you are able to really make those, those decisions based on information from your own field. Uh, just another thing with pulses, uh, because we've had such a dry 
um, year and the crop is going to be dry going through augers and trucks and bins that pulses are really um, the seed coat can be quite uh, brittle and we might see a little bit of mechanical damage um, and abnormal seed seedlings that way in a germination test so if you suspect that you've had a couple um, issues with uh, mechanical damage in your seed lot and you do plant plan on saving that seed and planting it for next year, definitely a germination test. Our analysts can take a look and say, yes, that is mechanical damage or note you're good to go and plant that for next year. Okay, thank you very much. Awesome, thanks.